Good day, students. I am Mrs. Jai Semi Adekweju, your economics teacher. Today's topic is agriculture. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to 1. Define agriculture. 2. Mention components of agriculture. 3. Explain six terms of agriculture in Nigeria. 4. Mention importance of agriculture to the economy. 5. State problems of agriculture in Nigeria. And lastly, six, mention solutions to the problems of agriculture. What is agriculture? Agriculture is a practice of farming, including cultivation of soil for the growing of crops and rearing of animals to provide food and other products such as wool, timbers, cotton, and so on. Agriculture plays a critical role in the entire life of a given economy. It is the backbone of the economic system of a given country. Over 75% of the people of Nigeria engage in agricultural sector. The system of agriculture practiced in Nigeria is mainly subsistence in nature. Therefore, it is the poorest sector in the economy. The major products of agriculture in Nigeria include yam, rice, cassava, palm oil, cola nuts, vegetables, onions, corn, and so on. Components of agriculture. Agriculture in Nigeria is made up of four sub-activities which include 1. Crop production, 2. Livestock, 3. Fishing, 4. Forestry. Number 1. Crop production. This involves cultivation, planting, and growing of food and cash crops. It can be divided into two. A. Cash crops. Cash crops take place purposely to produce goods for sale at home or in other countries. Some of the products are used as raw materials for industrial sectors. Examples of cash crops include palm oil, cocoa, cotton, rubber, and so on. B. Food crops. These are produced mainly for consumption. They are not planted for sale as cash crops. Food crops cover the production of maize, rice, vegetables, and tubers. Number two, livestock. This includes people engaging in rearing of animals like cattle, poultry, goat, sheep, and pig for consumption and to make a living. This farming involves careful management of livestock and production of raw materials from them. Livestock is also a source of food for many people. It includes poultry, goat, snail, cow, and so on. Number three, fishing. This is a selection, breeding, and rearing of fishes in ponds, rivers, and oceans. Under fish farming, different species of fish are reared. It is an important means of living for people living in the riverine areas, such as the Ijaz and Ilajes. Number four, forestry. This involves the planting, development, and management of resources from the forest, such as trees, for the benefit of man. Some of the products of forestry are timbers, herbs, and wild animals. Timbers are used for furniture, manufacturing of papers, Examples are Iroko and Maogani. In the next class, 
We shall continue. Welcome back. Let us consider the systems of agricultural practice in Nigeria. Number one, peasant farming. It is also called subsistence farming. It is the traditional system of farming carried out by peasant farmers. Production is on a small scale and it is done for direct consumption. It requires little capital. The farmer and his family members provide labor for production. It is simple and major instruments used are hoes and cutlasses. Peasant farmers grow food crops like yam, cassava, vegetable, and maize. Number two, plantation agriculture. It refers to the farming of tree crops on a large scale. A single crop is grown by the farmer. It requires a lot of capital. It is carried out on large acres of land. Modern equipment such as planters, Ridgers, harvesters are used. Examples of crops produced are cocoa, oil palm, rubber, coffee, and so on. Plantations are found in Edo State and Oyo State. It can be owned by private individuals or government. The hand products serve as raw materials for industries. Number three, mechanized farming. It is carried out on a large scale. It is capital intensive. Modern equipment such as tractors, harvesters, planters are also used. Food or cash crops are cultivated for sale. Number four, commercial farming. Farmers grow crops and rear animals for economic activities. Large areas of lands is cultivated. Modern equipment are also used under this system of farming. It requires large capital. The aim is to sell in large quantities and to maximize profit. Number five, cooperative farming. This is the association of farmers who come together to carry out farming activities. They pull resources together to cultivate on a large scale. They can obtain loan from banks or aid from the government. They use modern equipment, such as ridges, planters, and harvesters. Having considered the systems of agriculture in Nigeria, let us see the importance of agriculture in Nigerian economy. Number one, agriculture provides food. Agriculture is the major source of food in Nigeria. Food such as maize, yam, egg, meat, fish are produced to satisfy human being. Number two, provision of raw materials. Agriculture provides raw materials for the industrial sectors. Many industries rely on agriculture for their raw materials. For example, cotton is used for textile, while cocoa is used in the production of beverages. Number three, provision of income. A lot of revenue is generated from agriculture by farmers. Government also generates revenue from agriculture through direct and indirect tax. Number four, employment opportunity. Many people are gainfully employed in agriculture. In Nigeria, over 75% of the population are employed in this sector. Number five, provision of market for industrial products. Agricultural sector provides major markets for industrial products. Equipment such as planters, tractors, harvesters produced by industries are used for agricultural purposes. In the next class, we shall be looking at the problems of agriculture in Nigeria and solutions to these problems. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. Let us look at problems of agriculture in Nigeria. Agriculture is faced with lots of problems that have led to low productivity. These problems include, number one, inadequate funding. Agriculture is not adequately funded in Nigeria. Most farmers are very poor and don't have access to credit facilities, such as loan from banks. This limits the volume of production by the farmers. Number two, use of crude implements. In Nigeria, crude implements like oils and cutlasses are used by majority of the farmers. This is because a lot of them cannot afford modern implements, which can make them to produce on large scale. So, they resort to crude implements, which made their work tedious and cumbersome. Number three, pests and diseases. The activities of pests and diseases like weevils, locusts, and rodents are problems to agriculture. These pests and diseases can destroy large acres of farmland if not properly controlled. Number four, inadequate storage facilities. There is lack of adequate storage facilities since most of agricultural products are perishable. It requires adequate storage facilities such as silos and bands, which are very expensive to acquire. Most agricultural products are destroyed before they get to the market. Number five, inadequate social amenities. Social amenities such as electricity, good roads, and hospitals are not available in rural areas. Number six, poor technical knowledge. Farmers lack the necessary technical know-how. They do not have technical knowledge of modern methods of farming. They still use outdated techniques of farming, which has greatly affected productivity. Solutions to the problems of agriculture. The following are the solutions to the problems of agriculture in Nigeria. Number one, granting of loan to farmers. Farmers should be encouraged to have access to credit facilities. Governments should mandate financial institutions to set aside a certain percentage of their money for agricultural financing at a very low interest rate. Number two, provision of modern implements. Agricultural productivity will increase if farmers have access to modern implements. Governments should endeavor to make these implements available to farmers through various local government councils. Number three, effective control of pests and diseases. There should be provision of insecticide and pesticides for farmers by the government. This will help to control the destructive activities of these pests and diseases on the farm. Number four, provision of adequate storage facilities. Storage facilities such as silos and barn should be made available to farmers to reduce wastage of agricultural products. Number six, development of infrastructural facilities. Infrastructural facilities such as electricity and good roads should be provided by the government to both rural and urban areas. Number seven, education of farmers. Farmers should be educated and trained on matters relating to modern techniques of agriculture. With this, we have come to the end of our lesson on agriculture today. I would like you to go home and revise everything we have done and also answer the following questions. Number one, what is agriculture? Number two, mention systems of agriculture in Nigeria. Number three, explain the importance and problems of agriculture in Nigeria. Number four, what are the solutions to the problems of agriculture in Nigeria. Thank you.